Alright guys, Bradley's banging. My apartment's weird, like I have this door, and then I have another door out here. But Bradley's here. Who's behind that door? Who's behind that door? Oh, 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 ice, 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 ooh, ooh. What's yes. good guys? Yes. What's up? What's up? What's right. up? What are we gonna do, bro? What are we gonna do? All right, let me tell you what I'm gonna do. There's this girl across the way. I think she's watching us right now, right? Uh huh. And we gotta tell her to subscribe to the channel because, like, how are you just gonna watch us make this video in? Bro, you know are you kidding? Like, not watch it later. I'm not trying to yell and get kicked out of my apartment, bro. And besides, we can't even communicate from this far away. It's if my you really aunt. want, it's my aunt. Oh, it's your aunt. Yeah. What's your name, Matilda? Right. Oh shit, bro. That door bro. is fucking closing on itself. What is back here? Oh gosh, I'm scared, guys. What's Oh, I don't know what the hell that was, guys. Ghost, ghost. Kids see ghosts at night. Kids see ghosts at night. All right, so we're about to go. Just came to out of Narnia. Starbucks. Gonna get some coffee, aka pre-workout, and then we're going yep. to go to. Oh, Fox what's up, Fitness. guys? Hey, how you oh, yeah. doing? I forgot to say hey all the time. Yeah, I, know. I like to keep myself quiet. You know, I'm very introverted these days. Yeah. And it's raining. I just want to sit down and read a book, like my aunt over there. You can't see, but. That's what she's doing. Yeah, she's outside all day. She, she's getting a tan. It's beautiful weather. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so uh, we're gonna go to Starbucks, get some coffee, and then we're gonna go to Fox Fitness, and we're gonna hit go. some chest. Auto focus, let's go. All right, there we go. What's up, guys? Oh, uh, in the car right now. Oh, shoot. We are driving in the rain. Hey, bro, don't cuss like that. Oh, my bad. Shizu, Shizu, guys. Let's replace the word S-H-I-T with the word Shizu. That's, that's the goal for uh, my subscribers. All right, guys? Uh, we're driving to Starbucks right now. We're gonna get some coffee, some free workout, and uh, it's raining bad. Let me show y'all real quick. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not. There's a tsunami outside. Legit. And that's ironic. And if you don't know why it's ironic, I don't like you. Just kidding. I love everybody in this world. Besides, we love everyone. Uh, yeah. What's your name, Matilda? Matilda? Yeah. yeah. Freaking hate Matilda. <laughs> hey y'all, let us um, put you on to Russ if you haven't heard him before. Yeah. Go listen to all of his songs, but don't just listen to him and like zone out like you do with most music. Listen to the lyrics and listen to the bars, because he is a genius, like literally. And on top of that, I, I mean, I kind of sound gay because I'm saying so many good things about a man right but now. But this is 2018. We don't need to use the word gay anymore, you yeah. know? Because if you use the word gay, you're gay. Right? Yeah. I think that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real though. Let's everybody don't call people gay. It's rude. Yeah, man. Yeah, Russ. Well, it, he makes the beats, the bars, the hooks, yeah, he produces everything. It. He writes, produces, and everything, his own music. And, uh, um, I mean, we're not out here trying to, like, you know, sell Russ music and stuff, but, like, he's Russ good, is my right? favorite rapper, rapper personally. But. Forever or for now? Is it a phase? That's my question. Or is no, it going to pass? No, it's not a phase. It's not. Yeah, because it's not a phase because it's not how his music sounds. It's what he's saying. Yeah, it's exactly. He's, he's saying. Bro, I think, well, who do you think is more talented? All right. Who's more talented? We'll, we'll do two rounds of this. All right. Oh. Logic. Drake has to. Talented. Hey. And when quick, I say talent. Quick question. Quick question. Oh, Which way Starbucks? Uh, straight. Okay. Anyway, a uh, Russia logic. Okay, what are we talking about here? Because it's all around talent overall is better. Yeah, it's overall. And let's say the category categories are beats, how how it sounds, right? Yeah, how it sounds. What lyrically, saying, lyrically, and creativity. I think is okay. Too. Okay, bro. I say logic. You say logic. Just in pure rap skill. Yeah, I mean, just pure it, rap. Cause. He, he'll go off for 10 minutes straight on the song, bro. Right. And everything he says always has like a lot of meaning and power too. He doesn't talk about stupid shit. Bro, I'm not saying I like Logic more than Russ, but- Shizu. Shizu. I'm not saying I like <laughs> Logic more than Russ, but I would say Logic has more raw rapping ability. I'm gonna have to go with Russ. For us? What's up guys, so we just got the box. Uh, it's our first time at Fox Fitness. Got in for free the first time. This gym is nice, guys. It's like brand new, everything. Like we're in the locker room right now and it looks like we're in a freaking resort. So right. excited. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really dope. It's gonna be a chest focus, a chest focus, pump focus day. So we're gonna be doing a lot of hyper entry. Not really gonna be going heavy or anything like that. Um, 
Yeah, let's get it. Uh, I'm gonna record the top set of all the exercises, and then I don't know, it'll probably be a voiceover or something. So hope you guys enjoy this. What's up, everyone? So I'm going to be doing a voiceover for most of the workout. Um, to start off our chest day, we started off with a dumbbell incline press. This is easily my favorite chest exercise there is. I like it more than the flat barbell bench. I like it more than just the typical fly, dips. It doesn't matter. This is my favorite. Um, if I can, I prefer to use a... Do, to do use dumbbells rather than a barbell personally my rotator cuffs aren't the best so barbells have always been kind of painful for me to use especially if i'm going heavy so that's why i prefer dumbbells not only that but i get a better squeeze out of it so we started off with um four sets of eight to twelve uh first set you know you start off a little bit lighter and we pyramided up until we were failing somewhere between eight to twelve reps i think bradley gets nine here with 85s it's pretty He's a big boy. He's pretty strong. Boom. Good. Um, yeah, some of the keys to the uh, incline dumbbell press. Just make sure your heels are planted. Make sure your scapula is retracted. Your, you know, your, your back is pinched tight against the bench. This is going to force your chest to do work. And, you know, you don't want to round your shoulders and use too much tricep. Another tip is just make sure your wrists are strong. You don't want your wrists to bend back. You're not going to be able to get full pec utilization if your wrists are bending back the whole time. One more. Another thing is don't... Slow. Slow I mean, down. sometimes it's okay to go to failure, but you don't want to, you know, you rip a pec or injure yourself. Hey, guys. So, uh, me and Bradley, we're lifting. We're doing our sets and shit. And he flexes out. He's like, hey, bro, I'll be right back. I'm going to go into the restroom real quick. And this guy has been gone for like 20 minutes straight now. Oh, there... Oh. For a second chest exercise, we just did a um a flat machine press. On these, I like to keep it relatively light, actually pretty light, and I like to pump out sets of about 15 to 20 and just really control the weight really squeeze it with your pet get the mind muscle connection to help grow since it was our last set uh you saw bradley switch out the weights i don't know why he flipped that one uh we went ahead and did a drop set so we did about 15 to 20 drop the weight on both sides and then try to do another uh 15 to 20 i think on the drop sets we both failed before we got anywhere near that now what you see bradley doing is he is he's he's basically flexing out uh, I learned this from Haney, Handy Rambod, I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, on his YouTube videos with Evogen, he talks about it. It's called fascist stretch training. I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it before. Uh, essentially, what you're doing is after each set or after each exercise, however you want to do it, you flex out for about 10 to 20 seconds as hard as you possibly can and just really get that mind-muscle connection and pump blood into the muscle. It's a game changer. It keeps the pump going throughout the exercise. It really does help you get uh, a lot of blood flowing and get a really good pump going. Here's my drop set right here. Just pumped them out. It sped up, but uh, these reps were pretty slow. And then on that last one I did with my left hand a few extra times just because my left pec is weaker than my right one. I'm trying to, trying to get them equal and matched up. And here's just me flexing out. Exercise numero tres. This was our third chest exercise. Uh, incline machine press. I like to really focus on my upper chest like every other chest day just because that's what builds a really aesthetic lean physique. And that's that's what I care about when it comes to uh, weightlifting. Of course, I care about athleticism and being healthy, but number one is aesthetics and how does your physique look? That's what's important to me. So for this uh, third exercise, we did four sets of 20. We start with 10 neutral and then move on to 10 uh standard reps i started neutral and then went to standard bradley started with standard and switched to neutral whatever you prefer i prefer to do the neutral first because that's my weaker point and i can't get 10 of each if i start with a normal wide grip and then move into a neutral grip same thing as the flat machine press slow and controlled really pump this out really get a good flex in there 
um also the whole exercise is going to be in the description below flex out guys flex out if you're, if you're gonna record me at least get me doing a workout For our fourth and fifth exercises, we actually did a superset, which I'm a huge fan of. I love to use supersets. We did a chest dip. Bro, who are you? Where did, where'd you even get this camera? You stopped filming me? Weirdo, bro. Get my good angle. We did a chest dip and we supersetted it with a peck deck machine peck deck fly um this is a really good superset you're doing a compound and then you're using an isolation but flies whether you're using it on the oh wow that's beautiful bradley great work whether you're using it um a peck uh peck deck machine dumbbells cables it doesn't matter in order to get that full chest development and get a really wide chest and hit all areas you have to do a fly you have to you have to you have to um, for this, we actually just did three sets, and we basically burned out. I think on the dips, I was doing anywhere from 8 to 12, and then on the flies, I was doing, I don't know, y'all can count if you want, I think like 15 or so, and then I would switch to single arm, and I would burn out each each uh, side one at a time. Highly recommend that on the pec fly, pec deck machine. Single armed is great. Do single arm and then squeeze your chest with the other hand that's not doing the lift and you can really feel the blood getting in there and get a really good pump i don't know what bradley was doing showing off his shoes they're pretty nice yes this is what finished it off guys like i said everything's gonna be in the description is that Gallus Magus? oh wait no mark Zuckerberg. hey bro Here. tell me what we're about to do uh push-up contest burning out so we're gonna see who wins my, cast my, your boats. Cast right, your boats. My guess is I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot for 45. 45? But I'm like I'm destroyed right now, so. Oh yeah, me too. Uh, that, I'd be happy with 45. I'm I'm I'll be happy for uh, 52. Since I'm trying to beat you, I'm gonna have to I'm, I'm gonna have to do 52 at least. So. All right, here we go. Bradley's up first. Let's get it. Come on, bro. What am I doing? Uh, you're doing press ups, as they call it in England. You mean uh, earth retractions? Yes. You're pushing the earth away from you. Yep. Let's go. All right, earth. All right, guys. You ready to be uh, destroyed? How about yeah, those this angles? lighting makes sure it shows me how white I am. Dude, it makes everyone look white. What is the sun? I don't know. Halfway there. Come on. Never mind. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Just gotta get more knee on. Is that 30? Yep. Fuck. I mean, uh, fly boozle. Three. Come on. 34. I'm gonna get one more, bro. There's no way. Thirty-four and a half. That's how you do it. You know what I get if I win? Nothing. So, what's the point anyway? Just so you can rub it in your friend's face. Uh, your. Oh, we should have made a bet first. Damn, do it now. You know what we get to rub in, your, in each other's faces? It rhymes with. Falls. Dolls? Yes. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Just chilling. Right. Let's go.
20. Five. Ooh, it, guys. Come on. 39. Come on. 30. Come on. One. Two. Come on. Three. One more. Actually, one and a half more. <laughs> Come on. If you get a full rep more than me, if you get this last rep, I win. You win. Let's see what you got. Oh, that was easy. You got it. <laughs> nah, bro. You got 35 and a half. Bro, let's have you won by one, bro. Hey, you, how do you feel? Guys, my, I can't get up, so let's have to get up when you don't have chest muscles. <laughs> Here, I got you. Here, help you. Nah, kick up, bro. I gotta do kick Okay, come on. Oh, it's hard as four. It's okay. Alright, guys, I'm gonna try one of these. You only, you only did squats yesterday, so you can do it. Bradley is going to uh, his his channel info and his Instagram and all his social is going to be in the uh, description box. So yep. go follow him. All right here, high five. I'll see you uh. guys at Boo Rays. What's up, guys? At Boo Rays now. I completely forgot to show you guys my appetizer and do an intro. But uh, yeah, Boo Rays. It's like Cajun. It's delicious. Our food just came out. And I already took a few bites. I'll show it to you guys. Oh wait, I can't switch cameras. So there it is. Uh, it, black and it, chicken. No, no, that's cool. Cause you can't, you can't flip the camera. Oh, is it front on? Yeah. So I got black and chicken, some dirty rice, some mashed potatoes. Uh, if y'all didn't know right now, I'm lean bulking, so I'm eating about 2,900 calories a day. With the appetizer, I'm gonna be safe and call this like 1,500 calories. So I still got another 1,400 left or so. I actually had a little breakfast, so I have maybe a thousand left. But yeah, uh, I already took a few bites, guys. This stuff is delicious. If you live in Fort Worth, Dallas, or in this area at all. Highly recommend it. Come to Blue Race. It is it is amazing. What do you think, bro? All right, Bradley. So, what do you what do you rate this uh, this food so far? You know what? Honestly, it's pretty good. Uh, I don't have Cajun food too often. Uh, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't say it's like my first time. All right, guys. What's the good about Bradley? Legit, look what he's doing. He's putting barbecue sauce on everything. Man, ever since he was a baby. Apparently he has been putting barbecue sauce on everything. His cinnamon rolls, his pancakes, his toes what? when he sucks it off. What? Nah. He, he puts barbecue sauce on my toes before he sucks it Oh, of course. But nah, not on my pancakes, bro. That's ridiculous. Now we're gonna go thrifting. We're gonna go to Goodwill. I've been thrifting for like four years since I had to do it because my uh, mom was broke. Just kidding. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna go thrift. We're gonna find some good stuff, some retro stuff, y'all. After we go to Goodwill, we're gonna go to another thrift store, and then if we can't find anything, we're gonna go to the mall. Yep. Well, we're probably gonna go to the mall anyways, yep. because Why not? we have no life. It's seven o'clock on a Saturday night. Yeah, we, we don't, don't have, have plans don't have at friends, all. But nope. we have each other. We have each other. Okay guys, just got out of Goodwill. I found one shirt, ah, one shirt to cut into a tank top. Um, yeah, Goodwill is really good if you're just looking for like some t-shirts to cut into tanks or some vintage stuff. You can actually get just really lucky. Maybe you spend like a dollar. Yep, that's exactly what. Well, I spent like two dollars. He spent a dollar because he's cheap as hell. But uh, yeah, if you want some vintage, you can find some good stuff at Goodwill and save some good money and live a lot better. Just like one. And a says. yay! Look, look, no, show him. Show well, I can't. I can't. Oh, dang. All right, y'all. Thumbs down because on iPhone, if you're on face cam video, you can't switch to the back cam. That's so stupid. Right? I mean, right. you can do it on Snapchat. Right. Why can't you not do it on the actual you camera? Should, we app? should just be recording on Snapchat. <sighs> You're right. Which All right, way? guys. Which way? Which next, way? Which way? Straight. Next stop, we're going to Uptown Cheapskate. It's a, uh, it's like a nicer version of Goodwill. Like they only yeah, accept like yeah. nice clothes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's where the rich poor so people we're gonna, go. Right, right, right. So we're gonna be spending at least a couple more dollars. Like 15 bucks, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. And then the mall. Like 12. Yeah, 12, 13 with tax. Okay, see you guys in or after, because I'm not taking you in. Maybe I'll take you. Bye, guys. Bye. So I forgot to record an outro, but I'm here at my uh, sister's now. My sister's in her boyfriend's apartment, visiting them. Uh, yeah, had a good lift. Went to the mall, got some stuff. Hey, Seuss, what's up? Hey, hey. <laughs> this is little Mila. This is my niece. Don't look at my sister's boobs. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout video and this vlog. I'll catch y'all in the next one.